July 20th, 1942, Berlin, Germany. The United States Office of Strategic Services, OSS, take advantage of information provided to them by the underground German resistance against the Third Reich. The OSS launch, Operation Wolfset, where top marksmen hide among a rally given in honor of Adolf Hitler. Thousands of onlookers salute and cheer as the blue Mercedes convertible carrying the Third Reich leader makes its way through the downtown Berlin rally. Gunshots are heard and the crowd screams. In a panic, several German officers run towards the convertible. There, they see Adolf Hitler with two bullets in the head. One man shouts out, he is dead. Elsewhere, airplanes experiencing mechanical failure while carrying high-ranking German officials crashes, killing everyone on board. July 21st, 1942. Generals from the Wehrmacht assume control of the army and the nation. First objective is to determine who were the parties involved in these attacks. The second objective, to make everyone involved pay with their lives. Thousands of Germans are arrested and interrogated by enraged German leaders. The German army learned of Operation Wolfshead and decide to abandon their secret plans of invading Russia. Instead, the Germans and the Soviet Union sign a non-aggression treaty. The Germans convince their Axis ally Japan to launch a two-front invasion of the United States of America. Germany will attack from the east, while Japan will invade on the west. Germany conquers Cuba and establishes a military base just 90 miles from the coast of Florida. The Cuban waters are protected by the fearsome Navy of Donuts, icy with the United States on the East Coast. The Pacific Ocean is the home of a growing naval presence led by Japan. The Axis powers prepare their assault with a two-front land invasion. The United States Army must defend their country from the assault on America. 